Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where iron chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the iron chef and challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the iron chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, the World Championship of Chinese Cooking was held in 1992, and my Chen Kenichi won himself a silver medal. This championship is held once every five years, inviting top chefs to Shanghai from 19 countries. It's the most prestigious contest in China. From Japan, 10 leading chefs chosen from 10,000 contestants entered. And as a result, the Japanese team won the gold medal. And in the individual category, Chen Kenichi won himself the silver. But there was another chef who finished just behind him, taking the bronze. He was from the Sheraton Hotel at the time, Kiyoshi Takahashi. Despite the honorable bronze medal, he felt, well, humiliated, because he allowed Chen, five years younger than himself, to finish above him. After coming back to Japan, it took me a couple of days to get over that feeling. I just couldn't shake it. So this time round, Takahashi has demanded a revenge match with Chen. Let's introduce him once again. His name, Kiyoshi Takahashi. He stepped into the world of cooking at the age of 18. And at 22, he succeeded in joining the kitchen of his idol, Zhou Tomitoku, at the Keio Plaza Hotel as an apprentice. His dishes always have a strong and a definite message. Yeah. There's no ambiguity, it's right there, so clear-cut. Yeah. Takahashi was under Zhou's wings for seven years and gained the position of his master's top apprentice. And at 38, when the Sheraton Hotel opened near Disneyland, he was scouted as vice head chef of their Chinese restaurant. There, Takahashi became only the 12th Japanese chef to pull off an authentic imperial Chinese dinner. Bear's paw, swallow's nest, and other delicacies, a total of 17 courses he spent three months designing. The news traveled to the Japanese royal family, and Princes Takamado and Hitachi enjoyed Takahashi's dishes. Even the then Prime Minister, Takeshita, lauded his skills. I don't kill the natural flavor of the ingredients. I enhance them. I have confidence in that. He left the hotel in 94 and set up his own place in Tochigi, the restaurant Hao Hao, named by his master Zhou. He is especially known for his incredible knife work and is now renowned for decorative pieces like this one. In Takahashi's dishes, one finds the flavor of the great master Zhou and Takahashi's artistic approach. His dishes, in my opinion, do not lag far behind Chen's. He's a big name especially in dim sum dishes, and uh, he's hard to predict, so it's going to be a tough match for me, I think. Takashi, it's clear you can beat him. Now go in there and do what you do best. Crush him! 
Now, Takahashi, show us your fantastic blade work and carry out your revenge against Chen, if you can. I'm looking at this as a rematch to prove myself. I'll win. Today's challenger, known for his extravagant use of ingredients, and that'll be most appreciated by our guest, once again, the lovely actress Mayuko Takata. <laughs> Ni hao. Hey, some Chinese. How are you? Now, is what I hear correct? You have those yes. imperial Chinese dinners about once a week? Not at all. Oh, why are you always teasing me like this? That's not true? No, not at all. Dr. Tori, you've had them, though. They go on for three days and three nights. Oh. Pretty amazing, huh? You've had it many times. Yes. You're spoiled. I believe it. <laughs> well, maybe a little. All right, now let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. Waga Bishop Academy no Tetsujin Tachi ni nanraka no teki ya rival ishiki o motte iru ryori nin tachi wa kazu ouku imasu. Kyou no chousen sha mo ima kara 2 nen mae chuka no Tetsujin Chin Kenichi ni新さんを舐めさせられました。同じ日本代表として出た中華料理の世界大会で部門は違えど、チンの腕に及ばなかったのです。あれから2年。チンと同じく日本で10本の指に入る中華の料理人が今再び戦いの舞台に立ちます。さ
carrots. If my memory serves me correctly, in France there is a saying that goes like this. Eat the meat of the carrots. Here, meat means the portion around the core. So if you truly want to enjoy carrots, as the saying goes, eat only the outer part. The core is there to absorb nutrients from the soil, and it distributes all the nutrients into the surrounding meat, where they accumulate. Oh look, just trust me. Eat the meat of the carrots. Two of the country's foremost Chinese cuisine chefs facing off with carrots is the theme. Iron Chef Chen at the Hong Kong Championships coming out ahead of challenger Takahashi, who's still smarting over that. He's got a shot at revenge today. We are set for a grudge match, so let's get it on! Out of cuisine! All right, bang a gong, and we are on. And out of the gate, the men with the nod to each other, and now both shuffling up the stairs to the stand, loaded with carrots up there and some massive-looking carrots up there, Doc. Yeah, you're right. And actually, the Western variety is now being grown in Japan. And speaking yeah. of mm. carrots, uh, used in Chinese cuisine, they're more often used as garnishes and decorations, mm -hmm. more like decorative pieces, shall okay. we say. Okay, carrots for decorative purposes. And the pregame notes say that Takahashi's very good at that. Oh, amazing. But won't that take a lot of time? That's a good point, yeah. That's right, only 60 minutes to cook and decorate. And they can get very intricate, uh, dragons, pagodas, things like that. Oh, yes, I've seen something like that in Thailand. Hmm. Okay, now, oh, look at the challenger. Here. Oh, yes. He's got the uh, blackened bird there. Yeah, this is called koke, koke? in Japanese. Okay. Yeah. It's a, a silky fowl, basically, in English. It's very delicious a chicken. Of chicken? Yeah. It's oh, a I see. Chinese variety. It's used a lot in dishes using Chinese medicinal herbs. Oh. Okay, and he is chopping that thing up in no time, and now over to the Iron Chef. Oh, he's cutting them out with a mold. Almost like a cookie cutter mold there, and okay. applying the pressure, and removing the core in the process. How about this? Could it go for decoration? But today's theme is carrots. They have to be the main right. item, right? Right. Good point, yeah. Well, you know, with carrots, might be a lot of youngsters who are watching not exactly thrilled or overjoyed with the theme ingredient <laughs> today. I know I wouldn't when I, if I was a kid. All right, challengers boiling the blackened chicken, the silky fowl. Normally, this is used for a soup. Okay, and the chopped up pieces in there boiling away. So boiling it just in hot water? I think so, yeah. And the challenger is using loquat. Right, a, a Japanese fruit. Okay, mm. and these are called biwa here. Yeah, but what's on. for dessert you? Right? Shiro, uh, go ahead. Thank you. I have a list of ingredients that the challenger has chosen to work with so far. Beef, sirloin, papayas, cherries, apples, mint, and 11 carrots. But I'm not sure if that number has a significant meaning or not. Back all to you. All right. Got that all assembled there. And using a lot of fruit is typical in Cantonese cooking. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, and now Chen's carrots. The core is on boil in the wok. In the early going here, but challenger Kiyoshi Takahashi has started out working at a good clip, has kept it going. Wow, this guy's really fast. And look at him chop it up here. Yeah, chopping him up into big blocks. Mm. Working feverishly, and maybe the plan, given the 60 minutes, get ahead as much as he can in the cooking, and then a lot time for the decorative carving work. Ah, oh, yes. And the ones he's cutting just now are for stir frying. Okay, your call. But he mixed them with loquats. Right, I saw oh, that too. Really? Can I retract on my last statement then? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here's the Iron Chef, and right on top of that intricate blade work of his own with the semi slits into the carrot pieces. Hmm, wow. Well. Checking that out and grab another one and go. An all Chinese cuisine affair today. They'll be bringing a lot to the table. Fired up walks, finesse work with the knives. What are these? Uh, Chinese vine berries. Okay, and struggling to get them out. I think you'll probably steam this then. This one here on the stove? Yeah, the vine berries are a giveaway for that. Okay. Oh, and put it in the pot? An earthen pot, yeah. All right, we shall see. Now back with Chen. Using honey. Oh, honey? Yes, exactly. Honey onto the boiling carrots. These are the cores here. And in Western cooking, you'd be adding sugar to this. Oh, a glacé. Exactly. Hey, you know this stuff. Good oh, for you. yeah. I love carrot glacé cooked in butter and sugar. Mmm. It's great. Oh, plastic wraps. Yeah, into the plastic wrap. Mm, sorry, Doc. I don't think he'll steam this. Um, I'm sorry, Takata san. I think he will. Uh, well, uh, hey, they do have a steamer over uh, there. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, see. a steaming basket. You see? Well, I called it from the chair. Thank you. 15 love, oh. Dr. Hattori. <laughs> oh, I lose. <laughs> All right, now one of Takahashi's assistants with the food processor, and uh, I'd have to say carrots in it. Yeah, uh, exactly. 
carrot juice, no, but more like a paste for uh, perhaps some kind of sauce? That sounds more logical, yeah. Okay, and now Chen here. Oh, got some peaches. Breaking out more sweet stuff. Yeah, the white peaches. Peaches they are. Mm, exactly. So Challenger Takahashi with his Biwa fruit and Iron Chef Chen with peaches and also honey. We're ratcheting up the sweetness quotient here. Maybe the kids will like it now. Mm. <laughs> we'll see how they uh, match fruits with carrots. Wow, well, I can't wait to find out. Now, if we can go over to the Challenger's side, I think this must be ground carrots hmm. and something else is vanilla. Yeah, it's vanilla. Okay, 15 minutes gone in the battle. This is uh, really weird putting vanilla essence in this and butter, I think. And butter? Now, anyone seeing this would think it's French cooking, like technique-wise. Uh, the term is monté in French. Monté? All right, now back with the Iron Chef. It's He's been rather vocal with his assistants so far today, and they're also employing the steamer, but what, what's going on in here? I wasn't seeing that. I didn't okay, notice. under the foil, don't have that one. Everything's just going on too quick here. Hey, both sides working oh. really fast, and yeah. Takahashi filling it up. Papayas. Soup okay. into papaya bowls. Yeah. Wow, so that's the carrot soup he was making from before. Carrot soup in papaya. That's nice mm. flair. Fukuzan? Yes, go ahead. And this is sweet bean paste. Okay. okay. Normally for confections. So a dessert sweet then, I imagine. bean paste. Dessert coming first. A dessert, yes. Looks quite good, mm, doesn't it? <laughs> well, okay. We'll scoot back to Chen right now, see what he's up to. Uh, I started stir-frying here. Stir-frying ground carrots? I think so, but I'm not sure what for. Okay, both guys working at a furious pace. What? Uh, don't ask me. Is that crab or sea urchin? Oh, this must be crab. So, is it that white fish fillet we saw? Yes, you have it. He says this is flatfish. All right, thanks, Ota. Oh, okay, oh, so flatfish okay. and crab meat. And now that dessert's going into the oven. Into the oven? Hmm. So he's going to heat this up then. Sure enough. Wow, that's not what I expected. Okay. Doors closed. I think he would be doing something to it as well, but it's on the Iron Chef side, right? And that's what was in there. Oh, okay. Again, both guys working at a furious pace, and here's Chen with... What? Uh, don't ask me crab or sea urchin. Uh, yeah, this is crab. Yes, you have it. He says this is flatfish. All right, oh. thanks, Ota. Oh, flatfish and crab meat. Mm. And now that dessert's going into the oven. Into the oven. Sure up, yeah. enough. Wow, that's not what I expected. I Closing the door right else. there. Yeah. And yeah. um, now this is the Iron Chef over here. What's he got? Hmm. Okay, here it comes off. And Peaches. Oh. That's what was in there. Okay, peaches. Fukuzan! Yes? Yeah, here in this bowl that you're seeing, along with the peaches, he also has carrots soaking in pomegranate syrup and fragrant olive liqueur. Hmm, oh, okay. okay. That's never, easy. I've never heard of that. Oh, olive I have. liqueur. But it sure sounds good. Fragrant olive. It smells very, very nice. Mm. Okay, so uh, the call, that'll be a dessert. And now Takahashi oh. here. Oh, wait a wow, the challenger. He's got his carving knife on. Yeah, here we go, kids. Showtime with yeah. this man. <laughs> We've got a lot to watch today. Okay, well, I, I think I've got this is going to be a Chinese tower like a pagoda you can call this I think so yeah. all right man alive well, look he at this makes it look so easy look like he's cutting something soft but carrots really aren't that soft are they that's a good point and that means his use of hands like his touch is just so delicate and a blade here is very very sharp then that's why he can do it so fast but why such a big chopper for this <laughs> <laughs> style points <laughs> I was going to say that too <laughs> uh, a small knife would probably be a bit too wobbly okay uh -huh. Difficult to control. Yeah, huh? so a big chopper for such a small object, though. Yes, I know. Now, take a look at this. He's not moving the knife so much as he's moving his left hand. Moving oh. the carrot. Yeah, exactly. Very All intricate. Right. Check oh. it out. Anything you can do, Challenger Takahashi, <laughs> I can do just as well, if not better. Chen slicing, now dicing his carrots, and the Challenger's broken a serious sweat here. Look at the perspiration. And he's put down the cleaver, and he's now onto the very fine detail work here, almost like a woodworking tool he's got in his hand as he continues on his pagoda piece. Wow. Uh, you can see he takes a lot of pride in his craftsmanship. Kiyoshi Takahashi, Chairman Kaga wanted to see it, his outstanding carving ability. We are all getting an eye full. Wow, that's not just a decoration, that's a work of art. Indeed, yes, Takata-san. Now over to the Iron Chef's side, rolling out the dough. Maybe you're gonna add this to the sweet beans, I think. Fukuzan. Okay, yeah. yes, go ahead. The dough that you see the Iron Chef working with right now was made by mixing carrots, which had been stir-fried in lard, into a flour dough. Incredible mm. carrots mixed in so there. So it's already kneaded them into the dough, that right? That is very oh, okay. inventive right we there. didn't even get to see that. Stir-fried carrots in dough. Ah, oh, he's finished. 
Okay, Pagoda up and done. The Carrot Temple is finished. <laughs> Moments ago, passing the halfway point, 30 minutes left. Here are the challenges. Papaya bowls with carrot soup being plated. And he had this in the oven. Okay, it looks like they've got this one finished. That would be pretty hot right now. But the lemon wedge and cherry just added right, right. there. Yeah, that's, that's put together later. Yes, go ahead. At the time of the 30 minute announcement, I was asking Chen Song what it's like using carrots as a main ingredient. And he responded by saying, using carrots as the main dish is really tough. I was thinking about how many different ways you can enjoy carrots. And wait, was that 30 minutes already? Ah, from that point on, he was really stressed. All right, thanks, Ota. <laughs> Sounds like Chen still trying to find his way around the theme and looks as though the carrot laced dough on its way to becoming noodles here. Now, if we can look at the challenger, I think he's got truffles. Truffles no, on top it there. It looks like top seeds or something salad. in it. And he's already looks added like the dressing it. to that? Um, well, but what are those little like it, yeah. things? Hmm. All right, some carrot shoestrings, truffles on top. Doesn't it have some seeds or something in it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, caviar, no? Uh, or tonburi. Is it? Uh, Fukusan? Yes. It is, it is caviar mixed in here. Caviar oh, it is. Okay, see? so caviar, sorry about that. Okay, must have done that while our attention was elsewhere, but Takata-san, you got it. Right. Okay, let's let's reflect here. You've got caviar and truffles, two of the three most exquisite ingredients in the yes. world, really. Now you know? the Iron Chef, the noodles, carrot noodles on boil. And even the water's got a bit of an orangish to tint to it, and 20 minutes left. Chen now really getting a workout and still a third of the battle to go, replenishing some of the lost bodily fluids. He's lost through the first 40 minutes of this one. It's been a scramble on both sides today. The challenger and Chen, and dare I say, a look of concern, the expression belied by Chen, still really don't have much of an idea where he is headed. Oh, dried bean curd here. On the challenger side here, zooming in on it. Yep. Now, when you see this, you normally think you're gonna see some wrapping and eventual frying. But what exactly, else? yeah. What else? Okay, and once again, the percussive chopping sounds coming courtesy of Challenger Takahashi. Kusan. Yes. This is from Challenger Takahashi's side. I asked him how he's doing up to this point, and he said, I'm pretty much on cruise control. I only have to add a few finishing touches. Maybe I'll have time to make one more dish. I mean, I've already finished the pagoda, too. Well, okay, why not? Maybe I'll start on another one. Back to you. <laughs> how confident he is. Going for it. Oh, full wow. of confidence. But hey, maybe he's uh, trying to bluff. Make Chen think it's just a stroll in the park for him. Try to put some psychological pressure on the Iron Chef. And look at Chen. And dead serious is the expression on his face here. Now, if you take a look at Chen here, he's uh, chilling the noodles. Like cold buckwheat noodles? You know, I really like the color of this with the carrots in the dough. Carrot paste kneaded in. Yeah. And the boiling has made it even more orange. They certainly have added color to the noodles, and now the Iron Chef walking and rolling right there. <laughs> and over on the challenger side, he's now using the thinly sliced carrots and boiling them once here. Yes. Hmm. All right, now these are your ultimate shoestrings. Kiyoshi Takahashi, the challenger today against Iron Chef Chen. Walk fired up, got some carrots in there, some beef and some green beans, I believe. Wow. Green is that, beans? Is that oh, it? No? no. Uh, I don't think so. They look kind of small, actually. Maybe garlic sprouts? Okay. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Correction, garlic sprouts there, and a nice contrast, the orange and green. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. Very. And now back with Takahashi doing some stir frying of his own over a fired up walk. The carrot shoestrings in there being softened up through this heat treatment. Amazing, it's like these guys timed it so they could be dueling walks at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, last minute flame action here. The heart of Chinese cooking, flame fried, high heat, stir fry action and on both sides. And the Iron Chef with the taste test, nodding his approval and now Takahashi laying it down onto the bean curd. Yeah. But he's acting like he has all the time in the world. <laughs> Good point. Hey, he did say he had it on cruise control while the Iron Chef still hunkered down over his Carrots, garlic, sprouts, and beef creation. More taste testing as well there. Oh, look at that. Can we get wow. a slow motion? There we go. Oh, oh wow. Flip, flop, stir fry. <laughs> oh, this is. looks really difficult. It's not something you can do at home. Oh, no, exactly. Yeah, you'll, you'll be doing it with your other hand after you're trying it the first time, probably. Huh? huh? You have to use your left hand? I've seen people use two hands, actually. One hand, and you should use your left hand? You should have something in your right hand. All right, oh, well, Chen okay. is a right-handed stir-fryer, no matter, and it smells great over yeah, here. Yeah, it smells so good. And that'll probably go as is. Now on the other side, is, is that oh, foie gras? that is foie gras, yeah. Takahashi, oh, wow. frying that up. I'm getting hungry. Takata-san, I'm with you. That foie gras hitting the <laughs> wok, another great aroma wafting over here and sliding that one around. Now back with Chen, the stir fries down. Yeah, the carrots and maybe the peaches that we saw. Oh, earlier. these are not peaches. No? 
Uh, mm. Maybe not. What is it? No, then? this is what he stir fried just now. Oh, was it? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I didn't yes, that. that's what it was. Okay, that makes Isn't that sense. It? Right there, there's a good shot of it. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. On top of the thinly sliced carrots. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's being very meticulous today. Mm. Has it with this theme. Okay, maybe not. So what is this then? Um, this is what he stir fried just now. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's it. That. Yeah, okay. Isn't that it? Okay. On top of the thinly sliced carrots, isn't it? Wow, yeah. Chen's been very meticulous today. Mm. Has to with this theme. Maybe the only way for him dealing with carrots. And now the foie gras out of the wok and onto the plates here. Takahashi with the sautéed pieces. What's he up to? But no sign of carrots yet. Yeah, he could be putting all the stir fried carrots on top of this. Wouldn't mm -hmm. that be too easy? I'm not too sure though. It might be. Yeah. Or a carrot sauce? Okay, anyway, his Yuba wrap stir fried shoestring carrots a la spring roll style here, getting the deep fried treatment. And now Chen is on to another one, a soup with looks like some Shanghai cabbage in there. Uh, this is definitely a soup, yeah. Okay, with some smaller carrots. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these are called mini carrots. Right, mini carrots. Oh, okay. yeah. And with mini carrots, Shanghai cabbage should be vitamin rich, this soup. Should be. Then again, might not even be a soup. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. Well, not enough broth in it, or...? Ten minutes uh, to go. That's what I thought. All right, ten minutes left, and now shark fins. Ah, oh, oh, shark okay. fins. All right, well, the shark fins could be a decoration. Just to decorate? Yeah, like with the stir-fried item in the center. Okay, and now Takahashi spring rolls are off, and hey, looky here. Okay, I'm not sure yet. What's On top up? of the shark fins. That's got to be carrots, right? Yes, carrot paste. Okay. And a liberal amount, too. Crab meat and... And flat Flatfish, that's what's oh, in there. Right, right okay. flatfish. Oh, this is luxurious, wow. Well, this one would really run up the tab at a restaurant. <laughs> but you know, we run on tab free here. Go ahead. I'm on the Irish chef side where he's just as stressed as he was before. He says his carrot noodles aren't finished yet, and he keeps repeating, oh boy, oh boy, what am I going to do? He's in a panic. All right, oh. unusual. We don't ever see Chen appearing to lose control, and he may end up having to drop a dish. Meantime, Takahashi, another one done. The spring rolls. Yeah, it looks like it. What's in this bean curd? Carrots. Right. Only? Yeah, yep. uh, that's it. Stir fried they were. Wow, it looks good. It's quite a simple dish. They do look good. Mm. Yeah, it might be nice. And the skin made of Yuba seems to be quite crispy, if not crunchy, and the okay. sauce will be a key. Yeah. Okay, now sorry, but this Iron Chef soup here. This okay, one, right up close. This is, um... Looks like mushrooms I have been added think there. think so, yeah. Soup with carrots and mushrooms being repositioned now. And the shark fin, right? I think he's But got... how is he going to use the pasta? Well, he said he was having trouble with the noodles, right? Wasn't he chilling the whole thing? Yeah, he was, but how he'll use the noodles, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. And now, the Iron Chef, uh, back with Takahashi here. Oh, wow. Foie gras, mm. and now on top of it is meat, but might that be too overpowering, that combo? Well, foie gras itself doesn't have such a powerful flavor, but I get your point about being kind of greasy. Yeah, yeah a little but oily. It might though. work. It might okay. work. Okay. Yeah. Iron Chef now. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! Here he goes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, we've got to give him a 10 for that no, one. That yeah. was amazing. Shark fins <laughs> flipping and flopping in the wok. That's the shark fins, crab, carrots, and flatfish deluxe. Oh, I just have to have some of this one. Shark fins. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. Now, here it oh, is on go. replay. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, you've got to be pretty brazen to try to pull this off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you've tried it before? No, no way. He could lose the whole thing. It's do or die right there. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Now, you see this? He just did this, right? Oh, okay. This looks like a Chinese imperial dinner. Yeah, yes, right. beginning to. All right, five minutes left now. This Chinese summit, not much talk, but a lot of walk. Fired up walks in action. They've been action on both sides over the last half of this battle. Now look at the challenger. All right, Takahashi's side here. That's the silky fowl. The blackened bird. Yeah, with the soup, right? Uh -huh, and this right. is also regarded as a medicinal soup, right? Yes, it's very, very healthy. Okay, and it also has vine berries in it, too. And now back on Chen's side. Oh, a dessert. This is a, a the 
little fleshy here, or a lot of the core these pieces mm -hmm. have. Oh, I remember this is the first thing Chin San did, shaping these carrots, That's right. right? He probably knows I like desserts. <laughs> oh, that's a given. Well, Chen, not bad at winning over the hearts of the ladies with his desserts. Oh, yeah. And with you here today, of course, a dessert, definitely a must-have item. <laughs> and now, back with Takahashi. With the silky fowl. Oh, this is so pretty, the colors in every dish. Very pleasing to the eye. Orange and yellow, so yeah. colorful. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that pagoda there. Right. It seems to be all by its lonesome. Well, yeah. How, how do you mean? I mean, it should be in the center of a big plate or something. Oh, yeah, I agree, yeah. Mm. All right, the clock winding down. We're approaching two minutes to go. Full speed ahead for Iron Chef Chen. The noodles that have given him trouble, they're going to be a go, it looks like. But is he making something Whoa. new here? Oh. My goodness. Flames shooting high wow. into the kitchen, dousing that now. Now, is Takahashi trying for one more, trying for a final dish in the last 90 seconds? Did anybody catch what he just put in there? I missed it. Wow. Shark fins, maybe? Mm. Or a Fu Young? I think it's shark fin and maybe the crab meat. Mm. All right. Like the last soup, maybe. So you'll be trying to serve it as warm as possible. Okay, so not a last minute, minute stab at a new go. one. And now the minute to go, we've come down to the final 60 seconds. Boy, this one is whizzed by today. And even here at the end, Takahashi able to turn it up another notch. His pacing couldn't have been any better today. And the challenger just put his carrots in here. He's put his carrots in and he's put the squeeze on the Iron Chef. Takahashi soup getting done just in time delivery for his inventory of dishes. He's got plenty on his side and you've got to be concerned about the Iron Chef. Chen scooping it out here in the last minute. The carrot and mushroom soup scanning his dishes. We see at least three right there. Mm. Under 30 seconds to go. Challenger side dropping in the scrambled eggs to their soup. The last bit of cooking, which will complete this one. I don't know how many dishes they've got on this side, but we can safely say he's outnumbered the Iron Chef. But again, taste not number the determinant factor for scoring the dishes. Chen knows that all too well. Taste is where he's concentrated his efforts today. While on the other side, Takahashi's produced a stunning array of dishes, getting his soup out here at the very end. The final seconds tick down. Close call, but he makes it. The carrot battle is over. Uh, how do you feel now that your one-hour battle is over? Yeah, well, I'm relieved. You seem to have had a lot of time to work with. How are your dishes on a scale yeah. of 1 to 100? Well, about 85 points. Okay. You think you can win? Um, not that sure. And how does that pagoda figure into your menu? The pagoda is, well, just an accessory. Just decoration? Yes, right. All right, thank you. Okay, tell us how you feel. Well, you know, we know each other so well. It wasn't easy. Uh-huh. I remember how we fooled around in Shanghai. <laughs> Good times, <laughs> huh? Today was fun. You know, to me, you seem to be pressed for time a little more than usual today. Did everything turn yeah. out okay? Well, yeah, they're so-so. I didn't have enough time for the dessert. I guess I need one hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> okay. But I really wanted to do a dessert, so I really tried hard today to take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah. Challenger Takahashi is offering six dishes plus the decorative carving. First, carrot and caviar salad, chilled to produce a soothing effect, enhanced by the caviar and truffles combo in a soy-based dressing. Carrot and shark fin soup, accentuated by the creative use of carrot paste. Stir-fried beef, foie gras, and carrots and black bean sauce. A powerful set of ingredients here, all tied together by a touch of his trademark Szechuan hot bean paste. Carrot and bean curd. The XO sauce-based hot and spicy sauce offers up a nice contrast, highlighting the sweetness of carrots. Silky fowl and carrot soup, a Chinese medicinal soup with the flavor of the chicken having penetrated into the vegetables while maintaining the carrot sweetness. Last from the challenger is carrot pudding and papaya. Carrot, papaya, and sweet bean paste all packaged together, forming a joyfully sweet trio. And for decorative purposes, his carrot pagoda carving, deft blade work, creating a carrot artifact. Iron Chef Chen counters with his set of four. First, shark fin stew and carrot sauce. It was finished in stir-fry fashion, adding crab meat into the grated carrot sauce. The sweetness of the carrots resides in every ingredient in this marvelous opening dish. Carrot and noodle soup, pleasant and light, the noodles themselves containing carrots in a bacon-flavored soup. Stir-fried carrots and sirloin on fried carrots. Calculated for effect is the combination of the hot and spicy meat and carrots harnessed in the surrounding sweet shredded carrots. Chen wraps it up with a compote, carrots stewed in honey and pomegranate syrup.
Winning the bronze medal in the 1992 World Championship of Chinese Cooking left him unsatisfied. Today's challenger, Kiyoshi Takahashi. Unsatisfied because Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, five years his junior, captured a silver. With the score to settle, he's battling Chen, and Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, carrots, a great theme for the challenger with which to work. Two speeds, fast and faster, Takahashi completes six dishes and a decorative piece. Less sure of his footing, Iron Chef Chen will have to make do with his four. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the carrot battle are songwriter Yasushi Akimoto, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Takahashi. The caviar and truffles are really good. They go very well together. Well. I've never had them like this. I like this a lot. The caviar is like an accent. Yes. Mmm. Now, if no one had told me that there were carrots in this dish, <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed. It doesn't have any raw smell of carrots. Right. It's very fluffy, almost. The carrots are not really center stage, which is a shame. I hope this is not too blunt, but I think it could have been any vegetable, even bamboo shoots, or, well, anything else. That's a real shortcoming I see in this. It's sweet. It's like the sweetness you get when you cook bananas. Yes. I sense that kind of sweetness in my mouth. You only use carrots for Carrots only. Hmm? There are carrots in this. Like a medicinal dish. Yeah, I'm already feeling well. Mm. <laughs> I feel this dish alone would really keep me healthy. And the other it's ones delicious. are good. This one's good. That one's good mm. too. Was it grilled in the awesome. oven? Awesome. Nice. Mm. This is so good. This one is so delicious. Very good. And the first carrot dish, and now this one, our ultimate carrot cuisine. <laughs> I have a special piece on my table here. This is amazing. You are a wizard making this intricate piece with such a big knife. That's a check, right? So she'll get the bill. <laughs> <laughs> and the true. person with the pagoda pays. <laughs> <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Delicious. So nice. The fiber of the carrots, and I don't know how I can put this, they're fluffy, like clouds, forming a bird's nest, which has absorbed all of the essence of the shark fin, the flat fish, the crab meat, gathering everything together in this. It's like absorbing flavors in cotton. And this really tells me that this chef knows a lot about this ingredient. It's a little too soft. Good. You may have waited too long before uh, serving sorry. this. Right, it's uh, just a bit too soft. But I think the softness of the noodles <laughs> allows the flavor of the soup to penetrate them, sort of like a Japanese stew pot with, with noodles. I really like this very much. Thank you. So hot. Huh? The carrots are sweet. Uh-uh, this is hot for me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the carrots around it. Eat the carrots around it. Around it. The it's possible, mixture. the beef and eat carrots those, together. Sweet. That's the intention here. These mm, carrots have a noble mm, flavor. You're right. Right? Mm. You mm -hmm. sliced them this thin Yes, I did. Wow, with that big knife. Well, that's the only knife I had. <laughs> so I well, used I'm it. I'm impressed. With, with the sauce, please. It doesn't mm. taste like carrots. It almost tastes like fruit. You know, I was anticipating a carrot pudding or something along those lines. <laughs> but this is great. As a concept, he's saying carrots are a kind of a fruit. I was so impressed with this. This is wonderful. The carrots that were delivered here today and were cooked by Chen San, I think must all be very happy. <laughs> I think they're feeling proud to be born carrots. <laughs> All smiles there, but we'll see who's smiling after the verdict when we return. Chuka Dioricaino 
十本の指に数えられるお二人の今日のぶつかり合い見事でした私は無心に鍋を振るお二人の姿を見てこう思ったのですライバルの存在が己を強くするこれからも良きライバルとして戦い続けてくださいそれでは発表します Today's match, a continuation of the Chinese Cooking Championship. Challenger Takahashi, a win here, restores his honor, trying to get it done against the younger man who upstaged him in Shanghai. The Iron Chef getting all he could handle today. Was it too much? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? The Iron Chef wins it. Chen besting him once again. A premier matchup, Cantonese versus Sejuan, but looks like no hard feelings. But it's Chen Sejuan handling of the carrots, which rules the day. We can only hope these rivals continue to spur each other on to new heights. But the W today, pocketed by Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi.